It's interesting to think that what I might be saying, I have no idea who's going to be hearing in, in the, the years to come, but I'm doing this not out of any sense of, of uh, you know, how wonderful I am, but thinking about how I would love to sit down with my great-grandmother and just ask her questions because my great-grandmother was a tiny little woman all dressed in black, and that's my memory of her, and that's all I know, that's all I have. Part of the reason that I'm doing this is, is to share uh, in the future with my children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, something of what my life was like and our world was like and the family was like so that hopefully questions that they might be asking, I should say you might be asking because it's to you who are out there that I'm talking, um, things that you might like to know. I was born in Oak Park, Illinois in 1924. You could see the Western Electric building, still can, as you drove from the suburbs into New York City. And every time we passed the Western Electric building, my father would tell me, look over there under the second C in electric, the third window down, that's where my desk is. You're not doing sound, are you? We can just talk freely? Right. Oh, good. Well, where are we going now? The miniature golf course was a summer activity. So every winter, Doug needed to do something. So one winter he sold insurance, one winter he sold home insulation, one winter he sold cars. He happened to pick the year that Ford had its biggest year ever. And then it dawned on him that a home was a family's single most valuable and important investment. And he thought, one day, oh, I think maybe I'd like to sell real estate. Obviously, cooking has not been one of my skills through the years, but there's one thing I make that most members of the family seem to enjoy. So we're recording it for posterity, and that is spaghetti casserole. I was invited to a party at which Peter's first wife, Annie, was also invited. I heard Annie's voice soar above everybody else's. And she said, there's one wonderful thing about my mother-in-law. So of course, I immediately listened up, leaned forward, tried to hear what she thought was a wonderful thing. And Annie said, my husband never says, I wish you could cook like my mother does. <laughs> mm -hmm. 